We had this movement in 2020 and it felt it felt like something was shifting. But I remember feeling even then when I saw people marching in the streets scared that we were going to have all this hope and this movement and we were going to go backwards. Do you share those same fears? Are you watching this? Are you feeling concerned that we're losing ground? I don't share the same fears. Mm. I come from a position of knowing that that's what's happening. I know that the plan is to make sure that, and I'm going to go all the way here, Yeah. that states' rights becomes a thing again. And so if Charlottesville is an indicator of states' rights, they're saying it's, 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 it's about, you know, national pride. And so, but no, this whole statement is states' rights to own slaves, to own people. And so if the push is to revert back to a position in a time where black and brown bodies were used and abused, most certainly every single thing that is happening, the gains that we've made, it's, it's clearly a tangle that we're, we're, it's not even a balanced tangle, right? The dance, right? We're, we're two steps forward, one step back, two steps yeah. forward, 18 steps back. There's an effort, there's an energy that is constantly out there that people have to fight against. We have to come to a conclusion. The challenge is we're not organized. Can we reform policing? Is that possible? When I think about all that is happening and the fact that we are even thinking about the possibility of reform, there has to be the complete understanding that the system is operating exactly as it was intended to operate. Right? Michael Moore did a great film, uh, Where to Invade Next, some years back, and he explored some of their systems and realize that there was humanity given to the people who had done some of the worst things. So that why? So that they can be returned citizens made whole again, but after they paid their debt to society. Very different in America. Yeah. We're, we're about penalization. And if you look like me, you might be a fraction of the population but you are the majority behind those walls, you know. Reforms has to take into account the truth. And if the truth is, this is the history of America as it relates to black bodies, then how do you reform that? Only by coming to the truth. And even more than that, those who truly want to reform the system have to plan in a way that exceeds their lifetime because it may never happen in our lifetime but if you have a plan your children's children's children will benefit but if there is no plan if somebody says nice it's on them they'll figure it out we're gonna keep getting the same that we got.